Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Macon Campbell and this is Macon Stuff. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of time-lapse 3D modeling. If you'd like to skip directly to that, I'll leave a timestamp right here. So once again, this is something totally different to anything else I've done on my channel before. And that always makes me kind of nervous because every time I do something new on my channel, that kind of kills the overall growth of my channel. But I guess we'll just see how it goes. So the reason I'm doing this now is because I'm kind of at a crossroad and I need to decide what the new layout of my shop is going to be. You see, up until now, the way I use all of my tools is pretty much as a result of where they currently live. Some of my tools do have dedicated worktop spaces where they live which makes it a whole lot easier for me to use them. I do however have other tools which I store in other places, um, some of them under this bench and a couple of them inside the cubbies over there. Now I'm pretty sure that if they were more accessible I would probably use them more often. So the trick is going to be to figure out where I want to place all of these tools uh, to make it easier for me to use as many of them as possible. So I'd like to do most of the planning for this in the virtual realm which which means that I'm going to have to model all of the tools that I haven't modeled so far. So far I've pretty much only modeled the bigger tools and all the tools that currently occupy dedicated worktop space. So all of the other tools need to be modeled as well so I can take them into account when I do my planning. So all of the models that I made are fairly low poly and I'm definitely not trying to go for ultra realism here. They are mainly just assets that I'm using to occupy my scene. So what I did is I took out all the tools one by one, I took a couple of pictures of all of them and I took the basic outer measurements of each of the tools. I could then take those outer measurements and create a box in 3D and then basically I just modeled the tools by eye, just making sure that they fit the exact footprint and basic volume of the actual tool. So my plan is also to have all of these models available on my website for purchase for anyone out there who is interested. Initially, I'm just going to have all of the tools in one file, a kit bash as they say, with all of the 20 tools that I've modeled so far. I'm going to be selling that for $10 and as soon as I have the time, I will also be splitting them up and uploading each tool by itself and I'll be selling those for $1. So I'm not really selling these on my website because I believe that they're actually worth something. I'm sure that you can find the same or even better models on the internet for free. I'm just putting it up there for anyone who is interested in somehow maybe supporting my channel. So with that being said, let's jump into some 3D modeling. I really love watching time-lapse 3D modeling, um, so I hope you enjoy this too. So let's get into it.
Alright guys, that's it. Um, I didn't put all of the tools that I modeled into this video because I didn't want to make it too long. If there are any of you out there that would like to see more of this type of content or maybe some kind of modeling tutorials for Blender, drop it down in the comments below. It is something that I really enjoy doing and I have no problem adding uh, more of that type of content if there are people out there that are interested. So I guess now it's time to start planning out the new layout of my workshop. So hopefully by the next episode I'll have a better idea of what it is that I want to do in this shop and with any luck we can carry on making stuff so with all that said once again thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you have any comments or suggestions drop them in the comments below if you know of anyone else who would appreciate this video go ahead and share it with them and as always till next time keep making stuff